So Danielle, I love your story, and I think you all will as well. Uh, you're an attorney, licensed attorney. You're an Air Force veteran. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> and now you've been an entrepreneur as well. And you know, the topic of this panel was about resiliency as entrepreneurs. I mean, as an attorney and an Air Force vet, was that, were you already feeling that resiliency going into being an entrepreneur? Or is the entrepreneurial journey a continuous kind of building of resilience? Uh, that's a great question. Absolutely. Um, and thank you for your support. <sighs> you know, both of those things that you named, being an attorney and, you know, finishing basic training twice, <laughs> yeah. um, because I became an officer, those are things that you build up to achieving and build up to going through. When you become a small business owner, no one can really prepare you for the challenges that you're going to face. Um, some of you that may have seen me before on this stage, I was here in 2018 with a totally and completely different business. It was Party Boutique Kids. And fast forward, I think that first year we did 51 parties out of the trunk of my car, which is what got me on this stage. But two years later was COVID. I had no idea that was about to happen. So in the middle of that, I purchased a property and I had to figure out how to pivot. But not only did I need to pivot, I needed to figure out, okay, what do I do with the property that I now have? How can I go back to a promise that I made when I purchased the property from Judge Lee, which was that black lawyers would always have an affordable place to practice law. I would activate in some way the Civil Rights District. And shout out to Dr. Hood, I saw you in the audience. Um, and then last but not least, I would make sure that the vitality that was there would, would be something that would be lasting by way of keeping her father's name on the building. So to answer your question, in 24 months, once I started Creed in June of 2021, we have 220 small businesses that operate inside of our location. And so wow. we are building them. And so because not only are we supporting small businesses, but I'm also a small business owner, and I don't have a board behind me, right? I'm able to pivot with them and help them with those resiliency things, you know, that they need to, to be successful, so. Fantastic. 